cyber criminals are all over the place and Kovlin Naidu and I've had a wonderful chat about it but you've brought some little products or some toys really to show us on how you can well how we can beat the guys but what's this one okay so so this is called a Wi-Fi pineapple okay um, and this comes in various factors and, and sizes right but essentially what this allows a would-be attacker to do is sit at a coffee shop have this inside an empty cup right ordinary looking cup of so-called coffee right that's sat on his table while he reads a book meanwhile what this actually does is listens out for your Wi-Fi Wi-Fi signal across the room so it listens for your your cell phone signal that's broadcasting where's my home Wi-Fi it listens if you've got a tablet on you where's my home Wi-Fi where's my work for Wi-Fi because that's how Wi-Fi works if you've got it switched on on your smart device that device is constantly broadcasting to the world I'm looking for Alex home Wi-Fi network or my corporate Wi-Fi network are you around and if it is it then connects to it this device listens for those connections and answers yes I'm here I'm Alex home network I'm here but you're not at home you're down the corner from me it intercepts your signal connects through you to your device and anything you do after that comes through me so it you, could be bank accounts you could be doing whatever you want wow. via your laptop so if you that's see it. this in someone's coffee cup well you know this on the nose. exactly <laughs> what about this toy? so this is a similar equivalent mm -hmm. right for Bluetooth so if you've got your Bluetooth on well, you, you aren't much safer. This can, can listen out for those Bluetooth signals. Well, and what is it? it, it, it well, it's a, little, it's a little scanning device uh -huh. with, um, it's, a f it's a frequency analyzer that, that looks at Bluetooth, not limited to it. But we can, we can use that to actually target Bluetooth devices out there and you could have short range or long range. Wow. And intercept Bluetooth traffic. The next one? So I think let's go to this one, which is an interesting. This to a secretary or a PA or anyone else on an executive team is a USB stick. Yeah, flash you'd, disk. You'd be wrong. Mm. So this is something called a rubber ducky. And um, on it is a little piece of payload. So some malicious software that I've got in there. Pass this on to the CEO's PA. Please can you print this out? I need this document ASAP for the board meeting. And the PA plugs it in or the C-level plugs it in. The software downloads to your machine and infects your machine. Nothing happens. Nothing comes up onto the screen. After a point, I retrieve this from the PA, pass her a real USB stick, and the real document opens up. It's too late. You've already infected your computer, your laptop, with malicious software that I've targeted for your corporation. Yeah. And the last one? And this is a microcontroller. So this is the smallest form factor of, think of it as a PC. Right, an open source PC that I could attach a 3G card um, or plug into your network. So while visiting your office, plug this into your network with a little 3G card and listen to all of the traffic and all of the interviews that you've just published and have it wirelessly go outside via my 3G stick onto an attacker's network out Gee, there. Kovlin, I'm sure you've got many other toys as well, but just how does one protect yourself against this? So I think it's information. We need to, to ensure that we have the highest la levels of layered securities out there. And when you have partner companies that you go to, you need to ensure they are trusted advisors and not just suppliers and vendors. Education around cybersecurity is critical. It isn't the standard countermeasures that you'd use against these sort of criminals. So education from boardroom right down to basement level around your employees. Kovlin Naidu is the Chief, Inf Chief Information Officer at Internet Solutions.